Hey, what's up guys? We're back with a bit of a change of scenery. We're no longer using an oscilloscope. We're using a frequency analyzer so we can see what's going on. So we're going to be talking about filters today. Now filters are pretty fun. Um, what they are is basically an EQ. Um, you can do sweeps and all that fun stuff. So I'll show you down here. Right, we're just shaving off uh, the top harmonics, and there's different types of filters. There's ones that are uh, high pass, some are band pass, band reject, whatever. Yeah, so uh, we'll start out with our filter one, and we'll go uh, low pass. Now low pass two and four. So four is a very strong low pass, and then two is uh, not so much. Right, it lets a little bit through. So this is a uh, it's a term called uh, dB per octave, decibels per octave. So it's the amount, uh, the amount you cut at the cutoff point, right? So, as an example, Ableton's EQ down here, this is uh, times four, so that's 48 dB per octave. So it's a very, it's a very steep cut. I wish you could see it. You'll see it here. Super steep, and then we have you know your regular 24. Right, that makes sense. So, uh, two and four low pass, so less less dB per octave is a kind of a gentler um, uh, low pass, or a gentle, um, a more gentle cutoff above the point. Right, and each of them, each uh, filter section, it has a cutoff point, which is you know the selection of which frequency. So all the way down is pretty much off. And then you increase it, you get more sound coming through. Right? So, yeah, there's that. And there's resonance. So resonance is once you're at that cutoff point, it'll boost it. Right? And resonance uh, is basically your 303 sound. That's, you know, could be obnoxious or could be cool. So... A filter is a great way to shape uh, a sound that you've already created using your oscillators. Right? So there's low pass, uh, there's high pass, which kind of works in reverse. Right? So it shaves off all the low end stuff. It's good for adding, you know, grit to things. Right? And, you know, high pass filters have their use. And again, there's two and four, so that's uh, 12 and 24 dB per octave. And I'll pass. This one's a little confusing. So what it does is it basically, it, all the frequencies are passed through, um, but the phase is inverted. Um, so the phase is inverted, and it just sounds kind of different. I can't explain it, but you have your resonance. So you know, the cutoff really doesn't do much. The resonance, you boost that. See, this knob's not available, so it doesn't do anything. Uh, the resonance is there. So in turn, you can use the resonance to boost your bass. Right? And you can get a unique sound that way, which is quite fun. All pass. Doesn't make sense on paper, but it sounds cool. Uh, double notch. So this is basically uh, two filters, but there's two notches, so you have two kind of resonance cutoff points. Um, uh, it simulates phaser-like sounds. You see them? Our two friends are there, right? So double notch, which is, you know, pretty fun. Um, band pass and band reject. So band pass is just taking a simple kind of peak. You know, it's easier just to just to show you. And the bandwidth. So the bandwidth is the amount. Right. So you can have a single band that's being affected, or Dose. 
right? And uh, band rejects, so that's kind of the opposite. You have a thing down there, I believe. So it's, take, it's carving out like a valley. Right? And, it, and it's always to, like, shape your sound. So now we're getting into cool emulation. So Scream, uh, this is a low-pass filter. But the Scream is kind of a... Uh, it has feedback. So when you feedback, obviously nothing happens, but you have the resonance. It feeds back the resonance. Which is pretty cool. That's scream. So that'd be good for like leads and like kind of if you wanted to add a bit more aggression. Um, Daft, I believe this is based off the MS20. It's a very deep kind of, it's a different flavor of a filter and it's based off the MS20, which Daft Punk used on um, that one song they did. Anyway. Uh, comb, so this is basically, it's a bunch of like valleys going down. With feedback. Right? So you're getting like some neat kind of, uh, it's not really a filter. Um, but it's it's used for a flanging effect. Um, I'm not too familiar. Um, and acid, acid is acid with a very aggressive resonance uh, feature. Well, resonant. Well, it's aggressive for uh, its day. Adds a lot of upper harmonic content. Um, yeah, and that's basically basically uh, our filter section. Uh, so you can mix and match them all you want. And uh, I hope I did an adequate explanation of them. Um, not all EQs are alike. So say you have you know a very aggressive sound, and you just want you don't want that much. Um, high end, you'd obviously you'd use a, a low pass filter, uh, a 24 dB per octave, so it's a little bit more aggressive, and then you'd have that, and then you just shave things down, which would work really well, right? And you can get some some wobbles. That's our, your traditional one. If you have some, you just want to distort. That uh, that works well, and uh, all these they're all automatically key tracked, which is cool. And yeah, just experiment with different filters, and uh, we'll be back with the filter section as a whole. And yeah, all right, be back in a bit. <laughs> 